Yo guys, welcome back. Today I want to focus on how you can use Slice 6 to create some amazing vocal chops for your track. Slice 6 is a stock plugin from FL Studio that allows you to cut, rearrange and manipulate audio samples directly into FL Studio. Its user interface is fairly intuitive with graphical visualization of the sound wave and easy to use tools for cutting and manipulating samples. The project example I want to rely on is my remix of the song Rise Up by Vinay that I created quite a long ago. And here I got great use from this plugin. Today, I would definitely change a lot of things in the mix and arrangement, but since I don't have a lot of time today to create new videos, this will do the job. Of course, the best way to have a great vocal chop is to have a clean a cappella which is the case here because Vinay provide the stems of the tracks. In the drop, there is this section here. And this is a perfect one to achieve some amazing vocal chop melodies. Just open it by right clicking here and open it in Slice 6. From here, it's going to automatically detect transients in the audio sample, making it easy to cut into individual sections. You can click on this button and select the large, medium or small auto slicing option, depending on your needs and sample. You can also edit delete add markers where you want, which is practical if you want to adjust the auto slice result. But here it's perfect, so let's open it in the piano roll and now the real fun begins. Start by playing around in the piano roll to find the notes that resonate with your creative vision. I personally usually spot the notes that sounds good first and then I rearrange them into a melody. Don't worry about perfection at this stage, just focus on getting a feel for the sound that works in your track uh, and lay down a rough melody and rhythm that captures your idea. After you've laid down your foundation, it's time to polish it into a full track. Let's take a look at the effect chain I've used for the vocal chops. As you can see, we start with Little Alter Boy, followed by Fruity Delay and OTT for extra wideness and dynamic compression. And then I sculpt the tone with Fruity Parametric EQ to add some grids with Fruity Fast Distortion and create space with my favorite reverb plugin, Valhalla Room. To give it that extra punch, I I personally recommend Sausage Partner, that is a cheap plugin that is also really easy to manipulate. And finally, Kickstart for that necessary sidechain effect. This chain is my go-to for turning good vocal chops into outstanding ones. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, I'll leave you with the final result now. And remember that if you enjoyed this type of content and find it useful, please consider supporting my channel. You can do this by watching my other videos for more tips and tricks. You can also purchase some of my projects on my Gumroad page, link is in the description. I put a lot of effort into creating these tutorials and every view, like, subscription helps. See you soon guys, bye.